Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Yasin, Edwards College, Peshawar, Pakistan. Dear students, today we will start chapter number 6, Analytic Geometry, Second Year Mathematics. First of all, we will define analytic geometry and then we will discuss the formula related to analytic geometry and uh, what is the definitions of analytic geometry very very simple the study the study of equations with figures figures or diagrams simply the study of equations when we relate with diagram this is called analytic geometry Mostly we see that in this chapter there is a line and there is a equations of line. There is a triangle, square, rectangle and we see that mostly there are uh, some diagram and we relate with this diagram with equations find the sides of the lines and their equations and we will prove four points represent quadrilateral and it may be a rectangle it may be a square it may be a parallelogram and the mostly we see that in this chapter there is a equations and there is a diagram now we will discuss the formulas which are related to analytic geometry dear students now we will discuss one by one the formula which we use in case of analytic geometry first one the distance between two points for example there is a point say a and there is another point b this is x1 this is y1 and there is another point which is x2 and y2 it means that there is a line a b because two points form a line say this is line l1 and now we find the distance between a and b then formula in this case the distance between a and b absolute this is equal to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square it is the first formula first formula the distance between two point and the d, uh, two points are a and b and x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square and it is, it is always greater or equal to zero if points are coincide then the distance between two point is zero otherwise the distance is always greater than zero for example there is a point one one and there is another point 4 4 find the distance between a and b so in this case a b absolute this is under root of x2 in this case x2 is 4 4 minus x1 in this case is 1 whole square plus y2 in this case y2 is 4 minus y1 y1 in this case is 1 after simplification we have 4 minus 1 this is 3 and 3 square is 9 and there is also 9 this is 
2 time of 9 because 1 9 plus 1 9 this is 2 time of 9 after simplification this is the square root of 9 is 3 this is under root it means that the distance between a and b is this one units units mean it may be meter centimeter so we write simply units now we will we'll discuss the second formula give the name to this formula distance between two points distance between two points two, two points mean a and b second one midpoint between a and b for example there is a point a x1 y1 and there is a point b x2 y2 find the midpoint between a and b so in this case midpoint is x y this is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 for example find the midpoint in case of a is 1 comma 1 b is 4 comma 4 so using formula x1 and x2 add so this is x1 1 x2 is in this case is 4 divided by 2 y1 y1 in this case is 1 and y2 is 4 divided by 2 so midpoint in this case is 5 by 2 and 5 by 2 it means that m is the midpoint between a and b third formula The third one formula is the slope of a line or slope between two uh, slope of two points slope of two points two points mean a and b slope represented by m so for example there are two point x1 y1 x2 slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 slope mean the change in vertical distance divided by a change in horizontal distance rise divided by a run if two points are given a and b then slope is y2 minus y1 and x2 divided by x1 for example if there is a line which is parallel to x axis say there is a line l1 then in this case slope is 0 because the slope of the x axis is 0 there is no change in case of rise divided by run y2 minus y1 because in this case x value for example there is x values 2 and x values 4 but in case of y there is no change in vertical distance there is for example 3 and there is also 3 so in this case y2 y2 mean 3 y1 mean 1 so 0 minus 0 and divided by 2 minus 4 is 0 so the line if line is parallel to x axis then the slopes of the line is 0 if a line parallel to y axis then slope is undefined because in this case there is no change in x axis there is a change in y but in this case no change in x for example there is x value is minus 1 and there is also x value minus 1 but in case for example y there is 0 and there is 4 if we find slope in this case in this case 
y2 is 4 y1 is 1 x2 x2 in this case is minus 1 and x2 is also in this case minus 1 so this is 4 divided by 1 plus minus minus plus 1 this is minus 1 this is 4 divided by 0 and 4 divided by 0 mean undefined so in this case the slope is undefined in this case so if line is parallel to y axis then slopes undefined so very very simple if points are given then slope between two point is m is equal to y2 minus 1 divided by x2 minus one. if the line is if line given if line equation given if line equation given then m is in this case minus a by b for example, there is a line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. In this case, the slope of the line is minus a by b. For example, there is a line 2x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. In this case, the slope is minus 2 divided by 3. The next one is angle between two lines angle between two line two line say l1 and l2 for example there is a line l1 and there is another line l2 what is the angle between l1 and 2 so in this case the formula is tangent theta is equal to m1 m1 means the slope of line l1 minus m2 m2 means the slopes of line 2 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2 so the angle between two lines are given by the following formula after simplification we have theta is equal to tangent inverse of this value these are the form uh, these are the four formulas next we proceed as further dear student uh, next uh, formula is centroid of a triangle centroid of a triangle Say triangle is A B C. For example, there is a triangle A B C. So in this case, the centroid of triangle formula is centroid. This is equal to x1 plus x1 is there, y1 is there, x2, y2 x3 y3 so centroid is x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 this is centroid of a triangle if uh, three points are given a b c by the using this formula we can easily find the centroid of the triangle now we will discuss uh, some concept how we prove the points are collinear so there is a concept of collinear points collinear collinear points mean the points lie on the same line for example there is a line l1 and there is point A, point B and point C. Points are collinear. How we will prove that? There are three methods. First one, find the slope of AB. Let M1 be slope of AB say slope of a b is m1 let 
एम टू बी स्लोप ऑफ बी सी से एम टू इफ स्लोप और सेम इन दिस केस एम वन इज इक्वल टू एम टू देन इन दिस केस दी पॉइंट ए बी सी और कोलिनियर ए बी सी और कोलिनियर सेकेंड मैथड फाइंड दी डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस ऑफ ए बी डिस्टेंस ऑफ बी सी एंड एड ए बी डिस्टेंस प्लस बी सी डिस्टेंस इफ दिस डिस्टेंस ए बी डिस्टेंस प्लस बी सी डिस्टेंस इफ दिस डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू ए सी डिस्टेंस देन इन दिस केस द पॉइंट्स आर कोलिनियर थर्ड वन थर्ड वन इज कंसेप्ट इज दैट इफ देर इज अ पॉइंट ए एंड देर इज पॉइंट बी एंड देर इज पॉइंट सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल पॉइंट ए इज देयर इफ इन दिस केस द एरिया ऑफ ट्रेंगल इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव यूनिट If we move a here below, then the area in this case is four. If we move a here, then the area is reduces. If a is moved to at that particular point, it means that B A C in this case, the area of triangle. is zero it mean that bac lie on the same line it mean that points are collinear so if if area of triangle is zero then points are collinear and the area of triangle is given by the following formula delta 1 by 2 x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 1 1 1 area of triangle given by this formula these are the concept related to the points are collinear how we prove the points are collinear so there are three methods if the slope of ab is equal to bc then the points are collinear if the distance of ab plus bc is equal to ac then the points are collinear and the third one is if the area of the triangle is zero it means that the points are collinear next time we will uh, discuss the more concept related to analytic geometry and to be continued thank you very much allah hafiz bismillah rahman rahim my name is mohammad yasin adverse college peshawar pakistan dear students uh, last time we discuss the formulas and definitions of analytic geometry and the some concepts related to the collinear points there are more concept how we prove that the four points represent a square there is a concept four points four points uh, we will discuss the concept related to four points in general uh, any four sided figure is called quadrilateral any four sided figure is called quadrilateral it means that four points are there four points may be represent a square may be rectangle may be parallelogram may be kite these are the types of quadrilateral may be rhombus it may be represent parallelogram these are the types of quadrilateral and the these diagrams are formed by the four points in each case there are four points are there 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and the concept and idea is that for example four point is given a 
B, C and D. Show that A, B, C, D represent a square. It means that if A is there, B is there and C is there and D is there, we find the distance between A, B. Say, this is X, we find the distance between A, C. This is X, we find the distance between B, D. Say, X, we find the distance between C, D, X. If the length of between two points in each case is equal, it means that same X, X. It means that A, B, C, D represent a square. But it may be a rhombus because in case of rhombus, four sides have equal length. But if there is a diagonal, is diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. In this case, diagonal 1 is small and diagonal 2 is large. But in case of a square, both diagonals having same length. It means that we find the distance between AD say this is y and we we'll find the distance between bc and this is y if in case of a b c d having same length x and the diagonal a d b c having same length then a b c d represent a square if a b is equal to c d and a c is equal to b d and the diagonal having same length then this is a square otherwise it may be a rhombus it may be a kite it may be a trapezium and it may be a parallelogram so if question is given show that the four point is a square we find the six length is four sides length and two diagonals length Dear students, if there are three points, what is the idea, concepts and related theory regarding three points? If three points are given, for example, point A, B and C, it may be a triangle having three equal sides x x x this is called equilateral triangle for example there is a three points and maybe this is x and this is x and this is y two side having equal length it means that it is a isosceles triangle and there is another case for example there is a triangle with x side y and z and three sides are unequal this is called scalene triangle if three sides are same this is equilateral two sides are same and one is not equal to this one this is iso iso mean two sides are same if the three sides are unequal this is scalene triangle if there is a triangle like that point a b and c if ac which is perpendicular distance plus bc which is horizontal distance it mean perpendicular and it is mean base if the distance of base plus perpendicular this is equal to hypotenuse a b is hypotenuse or simply if there is x there is y and there is z if x square distance plus y square is equal to z square it means that it is a right angle triangle it is a right angle triangle because the distance of base square plus perpendicular square is equal to the distance of hypotenuse square and it is possible in the case of right angle triangle it means that if three points are given and show that the triangle is equilateral it means that we have to find the length of three sides if three sides are same the triangle is equilateral if two sides are same 
this is isosceles triangle and if three sides are unequal this is scalene if the distance of two sides and its sum of square is equal to the third one this is a right angle triangle and we easily find the distance between a and b by the distance between two points formula dear students uh, there is another idea concepts about the lines perpendicularity and parallelism so first case we idea or uh, discuss parallel lines parallel lines for example there is a line l1 and there is another line l2 two lines are parallel two lines r this symbol we use for parallel two lines are parallel if and only if the slope of line l1 say m1 is equal to the slope of line l2 say m2 if the slopes are same it means that lines are parallel it is a first case or idea related to the parallel line second one two lines are perpendicular 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 lines so are perpendicularity between two lines per two lines are perpendicular this symbol is used for perpendicularity two lines are perpendicular if and only if m1 multiply by m2 is equal to minus 1 for example in case of parallel if a line having slope 2 say l1 another line l2 having slope slope 2 it mean that l1 is a parallel to l2 in case of perpendicularity if a line having slope 2 another line having slope minus 1 by 2 so clearly if we multiply m1 m2 m2 is m1 is 2 m2 is this is minus 1 by 2 after simplification this is equal to minus 1 it mean that if the product of the slopes of a line is equal to minus 1 this implies that lines are perpendicular so in this case l1 is perpendicular to l2 so we using these idea perpendicularity and parallel lines we also implement in case of four points whether they are represent square it represent parallelogram it represents a rectangle it represent a right right angle triangle so another idea how to prove four points represent a square for so for example dear student if we find slope of ab line l1 and if we find the slope of line this one cd if m1 if m1 is equal to m2 it mean that lines are parallel similarly if we find the slope of m 3 and slope of ac which is m4 if m3 is equal to m4 it mean that lines are parallel it mean that it is not a in this case another trapezium or something else and if we find the uh, slopes of ab it must be equal to slope of cd it mean that lines are parallel m2 slopes of ac is equal to the slope of the line of bd if slopes are equal and plus if this product of the slope of m4 and m2 gives minus 1 because in this case the lines are perpendicular to each other if the slope of m4 is say 2 and the slope of m2 is say minus 1 by 2 it mean that 
the product of their slope is equal to minus 1 it means their lines are perpendicular similarly the slopes product of m3 and m2 is equal to minus 1 similarly in this case there is slopes of m3 into m1 is minus 1 m4 into m1 is minus 1 the lines are perpendicular it means that it represent a square because all these sides are parallel and perpendicular because there is no trapezium or other angles are there and plus we find the length of the diagonals so it represent a square but uh, simple idea is that if we find the six length and four length are same and the two diagonal length are same this, then this represent a square it is very easy as compared to this one in this case for example if we uh, prove a b c d represent a right angle triangle so we find the slopes of a c say the slope of a c this line is m1 and the slopes of b c say m2 in this case must be the product of m1 m2 gives us minus 1 and the lines are perpendicular it means that there is a right angle it means that right angle so a b c represent a right angle triangle so uh, i will briefly revise and summarize that parallel line if the slopes of two line same it means that lines are parallel m1 is equal to m if and only if mean if slopes are same then lines are parallel if lines are parallel then slope must be same perpendicular mean two lines are perpendicular if and only if this m1 into m2 this is equal to minus 1 so these are the idea uh, related to uh, parallel lines perpendicular lines and how to measure four represent rep, uh, four points represent a square or rectangle whether a rhombus and the three points represent a right angle triangle isosceles triangle and the equilateral triangle next time we will apply these idea and we will solve the exercise related to these idea dear students to be continued thank you very much allah hafiz bismillah rahman rahim my name is muhammad yasin edwards college peshawar pakistan dear students uh, today we will discuss the different form of equation of straight line so these form are the following first one is slope intercept form first one is slope it means that there is a slope m slope intercept intercept form it mean it mean that there is an intercept so this is y is equal to mx plus c in this case m represent slope and c in this case represent intercept what is the idea of intercept for example there is a line cutting on x axis at a unit it means that there is a intercept say this is a, a intercept it may be like that there is a line cutting at this point it is also intercept and collectively if there is a line is like that there is a x intercept and there is a y intercept there is two intercept so simply slope intercept form mean y is equal to mx plus c for example if a line having slope m1 and there is no intercept it means that c is zero so put in this case and we have a equation y m m is one x plus c c in this case zero so we have y is equal to x so it is very very simple and clear it is an identity function y is equal to x and the graph of identity function is is like that passing from the origin it means that there is no intercept in this case and in, in this case the slope of the line there is an angle is 45 degree so slope is also represented by m is equal to tangent 
theta and in this case theta is 45 degree and tangent 45 1 it means that in this case slope is is 1 slope is also mean it is a derivative dy by dx and clearly the derivative of y which is equal to x and the derivative of x is 1 so simple is that slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus c if intercept is given and slope is given so put and we will easily find the equation of the state line second one formula point slope form point slope form it means that there is a point and there is a slope point mean x1 y1 and there is a slope say m so point slope formula is y minus y1 m into x minus x1 for example if a line having points this one and slope is 2 what is the equation of state line in this case this is y minus y1 y1 in this case is 1 m m in this case is 2 x minus x1 x1 in this case is 1 so after simplification we have this is 2x minus 2 2x plus y to the right minus y minus 1 to the right plus 1 so after simplification this is 2x minus y is equal to 1 and the standard form of this line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and the second formula this is point slope form this is first one this is called slope intercept form and this is called point slope form if there is a point and there is a slope we can easily find the equation of the state line and the third one is two point form two points form two points determine a line if there are two points a and b it means that a b represent a line so what is the formula in case of find the equation of a line two points formula y minus y1 very very simple y minus y1 m m is the slope between two points which is we already discussed y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 and there is x minus x1 same as y minus y1 m and you know that m is equal to slope between two point y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and x this is if two points are given we can easily find the equation of state line for example there is a point say 1 1 and there is another point say 0 0 find the equation of state line so y minus y1 y1 in this case is 1 y2 y2 in this case is 0 y1 y1 in this case is 1 x2 x2 in this case is 0 x1 is 1 and x1 again x1 is 1 so after simplification this is minus 1 minus minus cancel 1 x minus 1 and this is x minus 1 minus 1 to the right plus 1 and this is equal to minus y is equal to 0 after simplification we having x plus x minus this is equal to 0 and there is no c it means that this is equal to so a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 in this case a is 1 b is minus 1 and c is 0 this also can be written as y is equal to x and it is like a identity function equation which is passing through the origin so if two points are given we can easily find the equation of the straight line dear student the fourth one formula is two intercept form two intercepts form it means that if a line cut is 
cutting on x axis and y axis there is a x intercept and there is a y -inter two intercept form is x over a plus y over b this is equal to 1 for example if a line having x intercept x intercept say a is 2 and there is a b y intercept say 3 so in this case the straight line equation x over a a is 2 plus y over b b is in case 3 this is equal to 1 after simplification we have uh, like this is again uh, represent the form of ax plus by plus c multiply by, uh, by 6 on both side so after simplification 2 into say this is 3x plus 2y is equal to 6 or this is 3x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0 this is ax plus by plus c is equal to it represent the equation of straight line and the <coughs> fifth one is normal form normal form equation of straight line is x cos theta plus y <coughs> sin theta is equal to p theta in this case is given p is also the distance is a perpendicular distance from the point is given for example there is a theta is 45 degree or theta may be 60 degree and p is equal to for example 1 we solve this case x cos 60 degree plus y sin 60 degree is equal to p and p in this case is 1 so cos 60 mean this is under root 3 uh, this is cos 60 is 1 by 2 and sin 60 this is under root 3 by 2 so after simplification we having this is x plus y under root 3 is equal to 2 or this is x plus under root 3 y minus 2 is equal to 0 so this is a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 so uh, these are the form of the straight line different form different conditions are given we can easily find the equation of straight line remember that if there is a line like this one for example these are on x axis two units and there is on y axis units but in this case on y axis it is 0 and on x axis this is also represent x is 2 it means that there is a 2 comma 0 and there is a 2 comma 3 so find the equation in this case so it means that there are two points and the line is parallel to y axis in this case so two points formula y minus y1 y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 and x minus x1 in this case is x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 putting the values y1 y1 is 0 y2 y2 in this case is 3 y1 in this case is 0 x2 in this case is x2 in this case is 2 x1 in this case is, is 2 this is x minus x1 x1 in this case is 2 after simplification we have this is 3 divided by 0 and this is x minus 2 0 multiply on both sides because 3 by 0 it is undefined so uh, our target to simplify and solve so 0 into y and this is 3 x minus 2 y into 0 0 3 divided on both side so this is x minus 2 0 by 3 0 it means that x minus 2 so this is x is equal to 2 is the equation in this case it means that if a line 
parallel to y axis then it gives the equation in form of x so in general if there is a point x y and a comma b are the values of x uh, in case of x there is a in case of y there is a b if the line is parallel to x uh, y axis so in this case simple the equation of straight line is x is equal to b for example in this case uh, we simplify and we having our answer x is equal to if the line is parallel to y axis and x is equal to 2 it means that in general if there is a x y point and a comma b and the line parallel to y axis then in general x is equal to b represent the equation but in case of if line parallel to x axis then in this case the equation is y is equal to a for